Teacher of the Month from Hanover Horton Elementary School. We welcome Tracy Stirley along with her superintendent, John Denny. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks. And both uh, in Comet Red, looking mm -hmm. great. Congratulations. Thank you. What uh, grade do you teach, Tracy? Um, I actually teach Story STEM to young five through fifth grade. So I have six uh, uh, grade levels that I do in about uh, six, seven, three, 18 classes. Oh my gosh, yeah. so are you moving around all day? Actually, no, I'm very fortunate. Um, I, I go between the library or the uh, computer lab, but nope. What's Story STEM? Uh, so I love storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I taught first grade for many years, so I've always loved it when the kids learn to read and get that, you know, that light bulb moment, come on. So I took over a position that was a library position um, from my very good friend, Belinda Vinton, and she did story time. Well, we have a lot of STEM materials at the school, so I thought I could implement those materials. So some of the time, it's just straight story, but a lot of the times I try to incorporate some STEM technology things and some things that the kids can build and the whole mindset behind that, you know, with um, thinking of an idea, sketching an idea, bringing it to life, revising it, and going through that whole process. Um, and I do it with, you know, the young fives all the way up. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun to see it unfold and the kids have really kind of, um, it's, it's lit a fire in them, that's for sure, <laughs> for sure. And John, what, what about uh, Tracy, that uh, you're, you're proud to have her as part of your team? Well, even just the fact that she took over a pretty well-established class. You know, it was uh, going in, learning how to use computers, typing skills, things along those lines, and doing the story time. And I just remember telling her when she took it over, just said, make it your own. Put your own stamp on it. And she turned, turned it into a one-of-a-kind uh, mm -hmm. program that uh, the kids are thriving in it and went in there the other day and you'll see in the little video that we found a good way to get rid of some of our old equipment and the fact that she's got the kids to learn how to how things work sometimes it's best to take them apart mm -hmm. <laughs> so you'll go into that room and they'll be tearing apart computers VCRs which for some of them it's like a history lesson they didn't know what a VCR was yeah. but um, just watching the uh, just her take an idea and run with it. That sounds like JTV. We got a guy that takes things apart to see why they don't work. <laughs> and they never do, ever yeah. again. Well, we actually have a, a video. Ryan Pennewell at Walton Insurance Group is a producer of Good Things Going, and he put together this, this segment all about you. Okay. Let's take a look. I think a lot of it is just the different directions that she goes in and the initiative that she takes. Uh, it's one of those that, she is one of those teachers that when she gets an idea, she'll think it through and then she presents it to us. This is the 21st year that I've been teaching. Uh, what got me started in education is I had um, two children at home and I went to work in the classroom and I saw all the amazing things that the teachers were doing and the things they were responsible for. So I went from an accounting degree to an education degree. For me, Hanover, is home, and that sounds kind of quaint, but my children graduated from Hanover, and many of their friends now have children that are coming through, so I get to see that. And it's security, it's knowing that people care about you, um, and it's knowing that even though, I should say even though, because Hanover is a small school, you started in Hanover, you could go anywhere. I mean, you know, my. I've, my own children are all over the country and they're doing amazing things and they got their start in Hanover, so. Her trying to encourage them to do a little self-discovery, self-awareness and struggle. You know, it's okay to not get something on the first time. It's okay to not get something on the 10th time, but it's not okay to give up. And she's got a really good knack for knowing how far to push a student before backing up, giving that extra little support, that extra little nudge, and then stepping back and letting them try again. And I think the perseverance that the kids come out of her classes with uh, has been a big blessing to them as they go through. So 
see more at Good Things Going on Facebook and at the Walton Insurance Group. Thanks, Ryan, for uh, that great video. And wow, what, uh, what a great testimony about uh, Tracy at uh, Hanover Horton Elementary. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize you were there uh, 21 years. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you've had kids of your kids' friends. Mm -hmm. What's that like? Fun. <laughs> Fun. And it's sometimes, and some of the funnest um, relationships are when you know how the dad was as like a high schooler, uh -huh. and then you've got their child come in, and their child is just so sweet and kind. It's like, oh my gosh, what a good daddy is. Because, you know, it, it's... I actually had one dad say, you know what, I know what I got away with when I was younger and I know how I acted and it's not going to happen with my kid and he's got the nicest little boy. So those are, are fun, fun. So you don't typecast your former, uh, no. No. No, 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 <laughs> Did, have, no. Have you had your own kids? My own children? As students? Um, no. No? Have no. you had John's kids? Uh, I did have Leah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I had mm -hmm. Leah. Um, not in the classroom, but um, in first grade we used to circulate, so I, I taught science to Leah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is it sounds like uh, Tracy gets exposed to all the kids yeah, in the she does. school. Yeah. yeah, I do. And that's but, the thing I like the best. Can you remember everyone's name? Uh, we have 502 students, <laughs> and I can remember everyone's if I don't remember their first name, then I know that it's somebody's brother, and I will usually call them by the brother's name, and they just, yeah. That's good enough. Yeah, or sister, yeah. Uh, let's uh, run through some photos you brought along, some okay. of the things. Uh, balloon racing? Yeah, so that was a video. Um, we had the fifth grade build balloon cars. It was our balloon car STEM project. So fifth grade built them, and then fourth grade built them. And um, on the day of our March's Reading Month assembly, I had fourth and fifth grade come down early so that we could do like a grand champion race. And so those were the winners of the fourth grade, winners of the fifth grade, and then that was the, the ultimate winner, the grand champion winner. And um, that blue car, that blue balloon that's going toward the right took out the yellow balloon and the blue car wound up winning. Oh. So just like, just like in real life, yeah. Have you done an egg drop? No, I have not done an egg drop. No. <laughs> Somebody get prizes? Yeah, so these were, um, this was part of our March's Reading Month activities. We um, always challenge our principal, Mr. Ayers, and he's, he's so gracious, um, and he goes along with whatever we, uh, we propose. And so this year it was, um, he hates to sing, so he had to sing a song if we, we met, our, met our reading goal. And we had a... Um, the um, Northwest Kiwanis group had donated bikes, so those were the grand prizes. That was the all, one school, one book that we all read, um, The World According to Humphrey. So every student got a copy of the book, and we had so many pages we had to read, and um, the students would be asked questions by bus drivers, by custodians, um, by the teachers, and it, it was just a nice shared reading experience. And cool. apparently Mr. Denny was asked if he was reading at a basketball game. Did you read it? I did after oh, she sent me a copy of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pink sunglasses um, day. Yeah, so this is my uh, rocks group. Um, I also have a, a group that's at the school. These are my fifth grade girls, and it's a group to build self-esteem and self-confidence so that the girls are able to kind of um, be able to withstand peer pressure or, or just to become stronger and empower them in different activities in life. Um, this is part of a STEM project we just fin finished up. This was making prototypes, creating prototypes. If you, like what's something you don't like to do at home, a chore, and that would, they got to create a robot and um, they created a slideshow. This was her sketch of what that um, robot oh, would have looked like. I want one you know. of those self put yeah. away clothes. Yeah, dressers. yeah, and so, yeah. so that was a couple of weeks in the making, and now we're actually doing the Google slideshow presentations they made of their um, group. This group had it was a washing and drying machine to cut down on that time. That's my idea. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. I told them when they patent it, I want, I want some. I, I, w I would love to see them yeah, succeed at it. <laughs> Very yeah. clever. So, yeah. Steam and works. Steam yeah. and, and uh, action. All right, so we want more kids to come to uh, Hanover Horton, and Appreciate you're rounding them up. Absolutely. Yeah. We're, uh, we had our parent meeting uh, a couple of weeks ago now, and we're getting ready next week for our kindergarten roundup, get the 
kids in, let them get to meet our teachers, and the teachers get to meet them so that we can get everybody placed into the right, uh, right fit for the get the best start they can. All right. Sounds like you'll have a great teacher in Tracy. And uh, coming up in May, we've got actually over, just over a week. Yes. Uh, school election day and really all throughout uh, mm -hmm. Jackson County, everyone has something to vote for, including in Hanover Horton. We have two because um, we've got the, our operating millage, which I am learning is about the most confusing thing that the state ever gave school districts to try to uh, have to deal with every few years. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is we passed the millage in 2015 for 18.4 mills, I think it was, 18.5. But there's the Headley Amendment to the Constitution that forces a rollback if property values go up faster than inflation and it kind of balances it there, to where our levy got rolled back to 17.2 mills. And the only way we can recapture to get our full funding is to pass a new millage. And so we're going for a 20 mill but we're limited to 18 mils, but that gives us a little rollback protection hopefully over the next few years if it goes through. But it is, an, it is a very confusing process. And then on top of that, we've got the special ed millage um, that we're, you know, that for us, our district this year was $300,000 that our district receives out of that millage. And Without that money, the $300,000 still has to come from somewhere because everything we're doing with those dollars are mandated. We don't have a choice. So we're looking at 25 to 3% of our um, budget disappearing if that millage isn't in place. All right, so get educated. Uh, and in many cases, there's not going to be any increase in taxes. People are just going to keep paying the same thing. So um, check it all out at your school district website, Hanover Horton's website and uh, vote on Tuesday, May 2nd. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations, Tracy. No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, keep up thank the great you. work. Yeah, thank you for having me. I Good appreciate time. it. Thank you to the Walton Agency. And thank you, John. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah. Great to see you. From Hanover Horton Schools, Superintendent John Denny, and elementary teacher Tracy Sterley.